watching that film, Cal passes the ball a ton. What kind of stands out to you, particularly about their passing game? They have a great passing game. They do a lot of things uh, very difficult to defend. They've got great receivers. They, you know, he's a heck of a quarterback. It's more of our hands full on Thursday night. Is this going to be the biggest test that your secondary has seen so far? I think so, just because of you know how the, the proficiency of their attack, uh, and the precision that they have with their lanes and the things that they do create you know a, a great challenge for us and one that we're looking forward to. Is this a better matchup for bringing pressure than maybe that Stanford O line was with you know seven guys you know, in there a lot? You know, pressure is a lot of times going to depend on what the situation is. You know, now and distance, a lot of different variables that go into pressure. What the score is, you know, all, all kind of different things. So, you know, we have pressures, and you know, if we, when we want to use them, we use them. Looking back at the last few games, what do you think of the, the pressure that you guys have been able to bring? Well, it's hard to, you know, when, uh, when the, a lot of times when Stanford's uh, running the ball as well as they are, uh, you know, with all the different formations, it's hard to create different pressures. Uh, you know, on, on them, and you don't want to pressure just for the sake of pressure. So, well, we pressure. So you know, our big problem has been has been giving up the big play. Uh, you, when you play good solid defense, fundamentally you got to tackle well, and not give up the big play. Uh, they're going to nick you. They're going to move the ball. You just got to make sure that you don't have those explosive plays that we've had way too many. Preparation. You told talked last week how difficult it was to mimic Stanford. Is it a little easier with the personnel you have here to mimic what Cal does? Well, we can't obviously duplicate their speed that they have on the perimeter, but we have the skilled people that know how to line up and run the routes. Uh, Jerry Newhouse has come over and done a great job imitating their quarterback. Uh, we have guys that understand, uh, you know, what they do on offense a little bit better. Uh, so, from the standpoint of people and personnel, uh, we can duplicate a little bit better. How does their quarterback Jared Goff compare to guys you've seen over the years? He's pretty good. <laughs> Those guys, I've seen a lot of good ones over the years. I've seen a lot of guys that are playing in the NFL right now. So, um, you know, over time, uh, you know, it's just crazy when you watch on Sundays and see all the guys that you got to face in college. And I'm sure he's going to have his days on Sunday, too. What does he do that is unusual for most quarterbacks at this level? Well, I think one thing, he stands in there and as long as he possibly can. He's not afraid to take a hit. You know, he gets knocked down, he gets back up. Well, that's one of the things he doesn't have the happy feet. You know, he sticks himself right in there. Uh, he does a great job of avoiding the rush. He's not the, you know, the fastest guy, but he's really the most elusive. But he has a great feel for pressure and how to get out of there. I think one of the things he does do is uh, like how he finds his secondary guys. Uh, he's one of those guys that you, know, you like watching on film, you just don't like playing against him. Thanks, Coach.